Okay, so this is my page. And when I click on this button, the image changes in the background and the card slides like this. This is a fully functional image slider built with just a bit of HTML and CSS, no extra plugins, no heavy scripts. It's smooth, responsive, and completely customizable. And you can change anything you want from the images, text, or the entire layout. In this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to set it up from scratch inside WordPress. We'll create a new page, insert the code, and tweak the settings to make sure everything looks perfect. By the end, you'll have a clean, lightweight slider that fits seamlessly into your site. So, let's get started. First, we need to create a new page. Open up the WordPress dashboard, head over to Pages, and click on Add New. Give your page a name, something relevant like image slider or whatever fits your project. Now, instead of using a regular block, we need to insert some custom HTML. So click on this plus icon, search for custom HTML, here it is, and add it to the page. Now just go to the pinned comment, copy the code from there, come back and paste it here. All right, at this point, the structure of the slider is in place but we need to configure the page settings to make sure everything displays correctly. In the right-hand settings panel, set the page template to match your theme's default settings. Now, find the container layout settings, click on the three dots, and switch to full width. This will make sure our slider spends the entire page without unnecessary margins. Next, let's clean up the layout by disabling unnecessary elements. If your theme adds a header, footer, or banner area by default, go ahead and disable them. The goal here is to make sure the focus stays entirely on your slider without distractions. All right, hit publish and take a look at your page. At this point, the structure should be in place, but it might not look perfect just yet. That's because we still need to tweak the HTML and CSS code. Now, let's break down what's happening in the code and how we can customize it. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because Okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and gets stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Now, let's break down what's happening in the code and how we can customize it. The slider itself is built using the nested classes inside the HTML. If you want to change any of the titles or descriptions, all you need to do is modify the corresponding text inside the HTML structure. For example, if one of your slides says, welcome to my portfolio, and you want it to say something else, just find that text inside the HTML like this and change it directly. Next up, let's talk about styling. The size and color of the text elements are controlled in the CSS section of the code. If you want to change the font size, make it bolder or use a different scheme or use a different color scheme, find the appropriate class name inside the style section and modify it accordingly. It's all straightforward. Just tweak the values to match your design preferences. Images are another key part of this slider and swapping them out is easy. Each image is loaded using a direct URL. So if you want to replace an image, all you need to do is upload a new one to the media library, copy its URL from here and paste it into the appropriate spot inside the HTML code. Now, here's a little trick. Make sure the same images is used for both the block preview and the main slide image. This keeps everything looking uniform and avoids weird size mismatches. If you want to tweak the navigation buttons, the next and previous buttons that let users switch between slides, those are positioned using absolute positioning in the CSS code. If they look off on certain screen sizes, just adjust their positioning values inside the style section to make sure they sit exactly where you want them. Finally, let's talk about resizing the slider cards. The width and height of the slider elements are also controlled in the CSS. And if you want larger or smaller slides, simply adjust those values. Increase the width and height for a bigger, more immersive slider or reduce them if you want a more compact look. And that's it. With just a bit of HTML and CSS, you now have a fully functional image slider that you can tweak to match your design perfectly. No extra plugins, no heavy scripts, just clean, customizable code. If you want to make it even more advanced, you can add auto slide animations, extra transitions, or even dynamic content using JavaScript. But for now, you've got everything you need to create and modify a professional looking image slider. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.